If there's one thing I've seen all over this Diocese of Cleveland have been faces of hope. To see in their eyes possibility, that they have people that care for them, that love them, and that could actually take them to a better place in life. Those are faces of hope, and we should be very proud that we're able to support that. My name is Tom Arthur. I'm a peer support specialist with Catholic Charities of Summit County. Peer support specialists are uh, those with lived experience that are helping uh, show others who may not know recovery is possible, that there is a way out from addiction. Corey came through one of the emergency departments at the hospital. He was an opiate user. He had a child on the way and he didn't know how to stop. I was detoxing. One of the services they offer is to have a recovery coach come in and talk to you that day. Everybody else in my life had, you know, had enough of me. And, you know, he was a smiling face there when I was at the lowest of my lows. You know, it helped a lot that he has similar history. We've got the ability to see the good when maybe they can't. When I entered into this world of recovery, I didn't know where to go, how to do it. So having someone sit across from me who has recovered was one of the most powerful medicines that I think I've had. He's been honest with me from the start, and he's been doing what he needs to do to move forward on his path of recovery. It's been life-changing being a father. Every morning I wake up, I see his little smiling face, and it's a big reminder for me that, hey, you've got to work on your recovery today. Not just for you, but for him. There are always new goals that can be set in recovery. There's always room for progress. As long as the client would like our services, we want to be there for them no matter what. Here at the St. Elizabeth Center, most people that come into shelter have lost everything. So as an advocate for my clients, I connect with different agencies, tell them about my clients and what their needs are. We help them with housing, we help them with employment, and make sure that they get the things that they need. People, they kind of look down on you in a, so many different ways, because a lot of times you got bad people doing bad things and they homeless. Then they make it hard for the other homeless people trying to get out of this predicament. Mr. Jackson has been homeless since 1997. He lost his job and lost his housing. Ron, due to his years of homelessness, he qualified for a program. We all together worked on getting Ron permanent supportive housing. So without Catholic Charities, Ron would still be in that vulnerable situation of homelessness. And I thank God for St. Elizabeth, you know, opening their doors and their hearts for me and the other homeless. So when I brought the fact that I was pregnant to her father, he just didn't want to go with it. I needed guidance. This was my first child. I needed someone to help me make the best decisions for her. Help Me Grow is a program that helps families, specifically um, mothers, and their children prenatally through age three. One thing that we focus on is the child development and the milestones as they reach. Reading to children is so important, and we can observe when a child, like little Manana, is being read to because she will come right up to you, sit right down in your lap, and bring a book over. So it's very evident that her mom is really taking heart and participating in the program Mango single mom is hard, but the type of person I am and with my mentality, I will not let nothing stop me from, you know, doing the best I can for my daughter. What we really want to focus on is the parent and child interaction. Some of our families haven't had fun playing. They've had their own childhood trauma, and sometimes it's difficult to parent in that way that's joyful, and that's what we want to show our families, that having that relationship with your child can bring a lot of joy. Minyana is so determined and persistent. I see a great future for her. I personally want to thank all of you for your generosity to the Catholic Charities Appeal. You have no idea how that helps people, changes lives, and brings hope to hearts that are in so need of it. Thank you so very much.